And the House of Representatives has initiated a constitutional review process to address security concerns following the Kuriga school abduction and Gonengora abduction. Speaker Tajuddin Abbas expressed solidarity with Kaduna State Governor Rubat, <laughs> stating that kidnapping in Kaduna is under control and ready to collaborate with the state to rescue the abducted victims. The 360 members of the Fent Assembly are in Kaduna to express solidarity. Area of security, which is the number one area that if you don't get it right, other economic developments may not actually follow. House of Representatives is uh, going to organize a national legis legislative security summit immediately after Salah to discuss with all critical stakeholders in the country on ways and means we can be able to come up with measures that will ensure lasting peace uh, in the country. So we can share the Kaduna State perspective uh, on this insecurity issue because Kaduna State is a major victim of insecurity in the north and we believe that what we hear from you and what uh, the, 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 the ideas and advices you give will go a long way in giving us the kind of uh, uh, responses we need to bring on board to ensure that uh, Nigeria becomes a safer place. He announced that the House has initiated a constitution review program focusing on security and the establishment of state police to tackle national security challenges. The unfortunate incidents of the last few weeks, the incidents that uh, Metamorphosis in the kidnapping of uh, more than 300, 250 people in Chukul local government. And just of recent, I was told, another 61 people from Kaju local government. Uh, this is something that uh, the House has uh, received with very, very big shock. We thought uh, we have seen the end of this kidnapping in Kaduna State, only for it to rear back in a very devastating manner, like the way we had. Uh, we just want to assure you that uh, we are very disturbed and we're very concerned about what has happened and that the House is more than ready to partner with you in every way possible, ensuring that uh, the victims of these two incidences are rescued back. As regards to security, we know some states in the country have already started advocating for state police and other, uh, other security outfits that um, can only be possible or realized if the constitution of the country is amended to provide for such kind of thing. If Kaduna State is one of those states that is uh, aspiring for that, so we want to let you know that um, the opportunity has unfolded itself. Kaduna Governor Obasani praised the House of Representatives' leadership for their foresight in creating state's police to address security issues. The House plans a national security legislative summit after Ramadan to engage stakeholders on lasting peace. We must work toward the creation of state police in Nigeria. As we are speaking, the number of the entire military in Nigeria are less than 200,000. And we're a country of over 200 million. For me, I believe we're liking boots on ground. And if we want to address the issue of insecurity in Nigeria, we must revisit the issue of state police. In the recent weeks, a lot of people have been bringing issues of doubt, but I believe most of those comments by Nigerians who are apprehensive about the creation of state police is out of ignorance a lack of knowledge. We believe the National Assembly is the only institution that can be able to put in an amendment that can be able to, to help us to come with a step police that can be regulated, can be controlled, just like in many other developed societies around the world. I want to urge the House of Reps to revisit the issue of state police.